Big Mumble Gray, and I've got a quick review of the Asus M5A99X Evo. Now, this is my own board. Now, I wouldn't normally review such an old board, but there's some some issues with the the BIOS that the the late, later BIOS is uh, improved dramatically. So I thought I'd uh, do this, you know, get the get the word out about the BIOS issues. Now, this is this is an absolutely solid board. I've had it. I've had it since. It was pretty much released. Um, it's got USB 3. It's got eight SATA ports. We've got room for six six USB 2s. Uh, we've got USB 3 on the back. Uh, we've got eSATA. You know, plenty of audio. We've got we've got optical. Uh, like I say, eSATA. Loads and loads of SATA ports. I mean, two, four, six, eight, ten SATA ports on the back. We've got room for expansion for. Uh, six more on the board plus the USB 3s. Uh, it's an absolutely cracking board. I mean, it's AM3 plus. Um, the the cooling on it's pretty good. If this board does overclock pretty well. I've overclocked it a little bit. Uh, nothing I left in long term, but I've overclocked with it. Overclocks well. Um, it was the first board I had that has a the UEFI BIOS. Now, if you've never used one of these before, it basically lets you use the uh, a mouse in the BIOS, it's basically a more advanced version of the BIOS. Um, now th that's where the, uh, the 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 key to this video comes in. Now I had a very early version of the BIOS on this board and I had a radio array set up on it, uh, being striped with two solid state drives and it took forever to boot. Uh, it was really, really slow. I mean, it took sort of thirty, over thirty seconds to, to get to loading Windows. Windows loaded in a snap, but it took forever to get to loading Windows. Now, recently, I put a BIOS update on, which uh, was from the end of two thousand and thirteen. Uh, I've had both. I think it was the December one, uh, and that dramatically improved the boot up time. I mean, I didn't time it before before exactly and after but it saved around 15 seconds off my boot up time it was absolutely phenomenal uh, it did upset my boot order when i did the bios update so i had to go back go back in and set the uh set the set the raid array up again and set up the um boot device order to have the solid state drives first it, it kept picking up a a USB drive I had in and trying to boot from it and then giving up so it caused a bit of a problem there. I didn't lose any data on the radio array I just had to go in and set it up again now I was going from a really really old version of the BIOS to, to a much much newer version but I would recommend if you've got this board and you're on a very old version of the BIOS you try out some of the some of the newer versions now do be careful with that if you flash your BIOS incorrectly you're going to brick your motherboard so do take care when doing that don't do it if you don't really don't know what you're doing but if you do know what you're doing it's certainly worth updating to the latest BIOS of this because it dramatically improves the 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 boot up speed I mean I think it may be something to do with this was this was one of the earlier UEFI UEFI BIOS boards for Asus so I imagine since they've got more refined with that they made some dramatic improvements that was one of the points of UEFI too to allow more flexibility so i suspect they just got it out and now they've they've improved things they're 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 putting their improvements in the older range which is fantastic uh one of the things i love asus for their their support for older products and their customer support's fantastic but this board has been a very very good board i almost didn't change it but i got a good deal on a on a saber tooth motherboard uh i'll link to that in the uh, in the in the video, the the saber tooth boards are, are fa uh, absolutely fantastic. This one is brilliant, so I wasn't going to upgrade. But when I got the good deal on the saber tooth, you'll see you'll see when I show you the, when you see the video of the saber tooth. I mean, it is a pretty good board. Board. I mean, this one we've got one, two, three, four um, case fan sockets. We've got uh, we've got the angled SATA ports. I mean, they're fantastic for keeping your cables tidy. Uh, we've got three PCI Express slots. I think they're two 16s and an 8 times from memory. Um, we've got the two one time slots. I don't really use them to be honest, but I've used some um, uh, single PCI Express slot uh, wireless LAN cards that are absolutely fantastic. So if you, I would recommend you try a, a wireless LAN card in one of these. If you're going to get one, don't get a PCI one. These are much, much, 
much better. Uh, I've tried a few recently that are absolutely fantastic. If I get a chance, I'll do a review of one of them because I've got another one coming in later this week, so I'll uh, I'll review that if I can. But yeah, I mean, if if you get a chance to get one of these boards and you haven't got quite got the the budget for the saber tooth, I'd definitely go for one of these because they're. Let's say this has served me well. It overclocks well. The performance is good. Stability has been good. The the features on the board is fantastic. It's been an absolutely solid board for the for the time I've had it. I mean, I've I've had it pretty much since the. The boards came out and they're fantastic. I'd, I'd certainly buy another one, and I've, I've I've built a lot of PCs with this in because I recommend it to a lot of my customers. The Sabretooth is a better board, but there's not a huge amount in it. If you're not going to go for some really serious gaming hardware, it you, it might not be worth spending the extra money on the Sabretooth unless you can get a really good deal on it. Uh, but yeah, absolutely solid board. So I hope the uh, the note about the BIOS is helpful to some of you. If it is, I'd appreciate a like on the video, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.